This dry, windy week is a busy one for Maine's forest rangers. Today, the majority of the state's fire danger was high. The rangers Twitter page is full of pictures and videos like this showing wildfires they fought over the last few days. The question now, though, David, will these conditions improve? They should over the weekend. We have uh, dry conditions continuing the next couple of days, and but we won't have those gusty winds, and those gusty winds contribute to uh, spreading those fires around. But Absolutely. we. Um, you know, we have to be careful out there. We definitely need to extinguish our uh, any any type of lit cigarettes, cigars or whatever. You need to put and extinguish them properly. Yep. And also if you if you have an outdoor uh, fire, if you're burning anything, you got to make sure that it's extinguished. So very really important good reminders, very <laughs> important. This time of year, you don't realize how dry everything is because, you know, you just had You're snow. just enjoying the sun. <laughs> yes, exactly. So uh, dew points were low and, you know, we'll continue to see that the next couple of days. We won't have the winds with us, but the underbrush definitely want to keep a close eye on that if you're doing any burning out in your backyards and um, anything like that. Anyway, here's what's going on right now. Temperatures are in the mid 30s and even into the 20s across northern portions of the state. Warm front hasn't quite made it up your way right now. Callis at 34 degrees, Bar Harbor at 48 degrees, Rockland as well at 48 degrees. Bangor 45, Portland at 55, 41 in Freiburg. So it's a cool night. We're expecting cool temperatures overnight tonight. Winds have definitely diminished noticeably as you step out there this evening. Uh, well, towards the overnight, you'll notice that. Still seeing some gusty winds across uh, the White Mountains, but that's what we expect higher up in the atmosphere. As a warm front is starting to push through our area, and that's going to continue to make it towards the north overnight tonight into tomorrow. This low uh, high pressure system off the mid-Atlantic coastline. We have a return flow that's going to start pumping in some really warm temperatures across much of the area. The problem that we're going to have with the weather the next couple of days is that we're not going to have any strong winds. So sea breezes are going to develop along the coastline. So inland, you're going to see nice temperatures along the coastline. It's going to lag a little bit because we'll have a pretty aggressive sea breeze developing. Right now, radar really not showing much out there. We're starting to see skies clear as that warm front continues to move towards the north overnight. We'll see some clouds. Those clouds would dissipate somewhat by tomorrow morning. Cool stars, especially across northern portions of the area, lower to mid 40s as you get down towards the south. And we'll start to see those temperatures bumping up as we get to about 7 o'clock tomorrow afternoon. Now watch what happens around 2 o'clock. Temperatures along the coastline, upper 50s, pushing 60 in Portland, 57 in Bar Harbor at 2 o'clock. But when you get inland, Freiburg, out towards western portions of the state, you'll be in the mid 70s. Even down towards Sanford, I think we'll start to see temperatures breaking into the 70s. A little bit cool across northern portions of the state. And then tomorrow evening, a few clouds out there. Lovely evening out there. That sea breeze will subside a little bit. So you may see temperatures jump up along the coastline as a land breeze develops. And then tomorrow night, around this time, temperatures mostly in the 40s and 50s, which is going to give us a good jump start for temperatures as we go into Friday. So this is what we're expecting for high temperatures right along the coastline. See Bar Harbor in the upper 50s, mid coast in the mid 50s as well, Wiscasset 62, Portland in the lower 60s. And as you get inland, especially along the New Hampshire border, that's where we're expecting temperatures in the mid to upper 70s. You'll be pushing 80s as you get into uh, the lakes region of New Hampshire point south into southern New England. So looking like a pretty decent day tomorrow. Temperatures, uh, these high temperatures may be achieved earlier in the morning, but once that sea breeze kicks in, we'll start to feel things a little bit cooler. Now on Friday, look at this. Sea breeze is still there, but I think these high temperatures along the coastline are going to be achieved in the morning hours and in the afternoon once those breezes develop, we'll see those temperatures knocking down a little bit, but it will be a little bit cooler along the coastline pushing into the mid to upper 70s once again in the location still a little cool across New England portions of the state and then a Friday a back a Saturday excuse me a Friday night that is a backdoor cold front moves through cooling things off along the coastline in the 50s still seeing some 60 degree readings inland but Saturday is definitely the start of getting things back to normal once cooler air starts to come in and then here's what's going to happen over the weekend. We see that a cold front backdoor cold front moving through cools us off and a weak system makes a run at us Saturday night into Sunday. Could see some showers in the afternoon as we go through Sunday. Still a little bit to work on with that portion of the forecast, but that's how things are looking. Marine forecast looking pretty decent out there tomorrow. Seas around two feet. You saw that ocean temperature in the lower 40s. That's why that sea breeze is going to play spoiler along the coastline as we go into the next couple of days. But look at those temperatures, beautiful temperatures right through 
Friday and then we cool off over the weekend. Then we have the chance for showers as we go into Saturday afternoon. Monday, uh, some showers around probably in the afternoon. May get a little break on Tuesday and then more showers on Wednesday with temperatures closer to average. All right, a couple more days to squeeze it all in. Absolutely, <laughs> enjoy them. Thanks, David. <laughs>